2012 Smithsonian Folklife Festival features three Latino groups uh, that have been recorded by Smithsonian Folkways recordings over recent years. One of those is a Los Angeles-based group entitled Quetzal, named after its leader, Quetzal Flores. And they do a really interesting blend of traditional music from Veracruz, um, rock and roll, from, especially from the 1990s and beyond, and also that very East Los Angeles mix of different cultures that includes rhythm and blues and, and uh, more recent imports into the culture of East Los Angeles. Uh, Quetzal also presents music with a message. Very socially conscious group, musician, composer, and that's going to be a, a real treat for our audience goers. Following them on the same concert will be an extraordinary group from a very small town on the Caribbean coast of Venezuela, the northern part of South America. The town is called Naiwata, and they are called the Sardina de Naiwata. They come from a centuries-old Afro-Venezuelan tradition uh, that that is right in the middle of everything in important annual celebrations like the Day of San Juan in June, Carnaval in, uh, in February. And they, over the years, have become the signature music of Carnaval, and Naiwata has become a nationally prominent town uh, style of music and celebration. Third, uh, we have Mariachi Los Camperos de Naticano. They are the premier mariachi uh, ensemble in the United States. Naticano, the founder and leader of the group, received the National Heritage Fellowship uh, from the National Endowment for the Arts, declaring him a national treasure. And in fact, this entire concert is framed uh, in, in the theme of the mariachi having been declared by UNESCO as a treasure of humanity. And they will be in town uh, doing events with the Mexican Embassy as well as doing a first-rate concert on the National Mall on one of the uh, Friday evenings of this year's uh, Smithsonian Folklife Festival. So we invite you all. Come and see us, come and dance, come and listen, come and engage with people, come and be part of the Smithsonian Folklife Festival.